What's going on guys, it's Insomnus here again, back with another video, and what I've got for you guys today is a really nice gameplay on the map Hijacked in a regular 6 vs 6 domination game, and in this game, I unfortunately end up failing the triple nuclear by about 6 kills, the unsupported triple nuclear, and on the third and final nuclear streak, I was just 6 kills away with about a minute left, and I made a really stupid mistake, because I didn't actually realise that I had plenty of time left, I was absolutely balls deep in the spawn, and I thought I had no time whatsoever left, so I was trying to rush in and get those last couple of kills, Little did I know, I actually had a full minute left and made a really silly mistake that you'll see towards the end of the gameplay if you watch uh, that far on. But nonetheless, I still managed to pull off the uh, double nuclear as well as a 24 gun streak. And I believe the first nuclear is like a 37 gun streak as well. So pretty nice gameplay in my opinion. I also got about 110 I believe. I'm not sure how much score. But again, this is unsupported. I'm just playing with one other person, my friend uh, Jay Bizzle. And we just went absolutely ham on this guys uh, this game. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the gameplay, maybe one day I will manage to pull off this solo, solo triple, definitely I will manage to pull, pull off a solo triple soon. Um, I haven't seen one done on Xbox yet, it probably has been done, but I, I haven't seen the gameplay of anyone getting one yet. Uh, but, uh, nonetheless, you guys may remember in my last video I actually mentioned that I wanted to kind of improve my commentaries, I wanted to stop, you know, talking about gameplay for pretty much like 10 minutes every single video. Um, you know, because it, get, it gets kind of boring, it's way too late in this game's life cycle to be talking about gameplay and tips and stuff. At least in my opinion, I know a lot of you guys are probably getting really bored of that. So what I'm going to be trying to do over the next couple of videos is trying to improve my commentaries a bit to hopefully make my content a, that much more, you know, a slight bit more enjoyable for the rest of Black Ops 2. Because I, be, I went back a couple of days ago and watched some of my Modern Warfare 3 content and uh, basically every video was me, just literally about 50 videos, just me starting the commentary, doing my intro, saying I've got like a 7 second mob here or something for you guys, then saying drop a like on the video, talking about the gameplay or some tip that I'd already repeated multiple times, and then ending the video, and that was some, in my opinion, the gameplays are really good, but like commentary wise, it was just complete and absolute shite, and I'll admit that. So I want to try and make my uh, commentary a lot better, but for the past couple days, I've been pretty much stumped on what I should actually talk about in commentary, so if you guys wouldn't mind leaving me some suggestions in the in the comment section down below, maybe uh, having a little bit of discussion on what you think I should talk about, and uh, the stuff that gets voted up the most is the stuff that I will most likely uh, try and uh, do while I'm practicing my commentaries. I want to definitely make my commentaries a lot more entertaining, especially for when Ghost comes out, even though I want my channel to always be like a gameplay channel, always based on Beast gameplays, it can't hurt, you know, to have a nice commentary uh, behind that as well, but that's pretty much that, I do have two things I want to cover in this video, it does have about uh, halfway left, so the first thing I want to cover is TK, now a lot of you guys have been leaving comments in my comment section telling me about TK, you know, asking me about TK, what's my involvement in TK, am I going to be leaving OP uh, to join TK, and you know, that is not the case. I am in TK. I'm a member of TK. I got asked to join uh, me, Benny Central, and we got get asked to join by Chaos Silencer or Jimmy to uh, join TK and help out with the channel. And we decided we would do so after, you know, realizing that it, it wasn't basically, you know, just another pub stomping clan. It's something completely unique, completely like, you know, uh, different from what OP, Doom, Amp are doing, you know, it's not pub stomping, it's basically everything combined all in one channel, you know, and it's all like really nicely high edited, high quality stuff, you know, montages, uh, clips, um, you know, really edited, you know, guides or like uh, series on how you guys can improve and stuff like that. It's got everything from like sniping, pub stomping, which they call war beasting, knifing, competitive, they've even set up a pro team with some really, really top players uh, over the past couple days, so it's basically got everything on that channel, and you know, me, Benny, Liam have been running OP for about a month, uh, two months now, sorry, we brought it back about two months ago, and we've been running it really well, and we would never, ever, ever close down OP again, or like abandon OP again, it's going to be here, here to stay, so so when he asked us to join, we was a bit wary, you know, if it was going to be the same thing, because obviously we don't want to join another clan if it's basically just the exact same thing. But, you know, we was told that, you know, how it's going to be, and after seeing a couple of videos on there, it is definitely, you know, a unique thing, and it's completely, completely different from OP, so if you guys do want to go check it out, link will be in the description down below, it's just youtube.com slash clan caliber, and I will be posting some videos on there, as well as Benny's posting on there, Weagle's posting on there, a lot of other people are going to be posting on there, they've got a ton of members, snipers, knifers, editors, competitive players, just all around, every type of content you could want, it's all going to be on that channel, and I can tell you guys that that channel is going to be huge, and I'm really glad to be a part of it so one last final uh, final thing i'll say is i'll just reiterate this i am not going to be leaving op and uh, none of us are going to be leaving op it's just an extra little side thing we're going to be doing on the side and yeah hopefully everything goes well and as well as well if you guys are already you know i have mentioned this many times before i'm sure you guys are already or all, all already subscribed to op but if you're not link will be in the description just youtube.com slash with the op now the final thing i want to talk about in this video because i don't have much time left 
will be aim assist now uh, some of you guys uh, uh, may have watched uh, Rich's video yesterday he actually mentioned that you know I don't use aim assist and I use maximum sensitivity and you know that he just he just basically mentioned my name in his uh, video and about 500 of you guys came over from his channel and just searched my name uh, to come and check out my stuff which I really do appreciate and I really do appreciate Rich for uh, speaking so highly of me um, and I'm basically going to uh, explain the aim assist to you guys because there was a couple comments on that last video asking me about it and you know i basically started playing call of duty in world at war i played maybe a week of world at war with the aim assist settings on and with you know the default sensitivity that it had and i decided that it just wasn't for me i didn't really like you know when people ran in front of you your aim just like automatically drags onto them and it can screw you out of like some close range engagements and stuff so i decided from that day i would take it off uh, you know not knowing it would you know affect anything really and i decided to bump up my sensitivity so i could you know react on people quicker and for using this ever i've been using this since ever since uh, world at war and it's pretty much worked for me uh, it took a while to get used to um my you know level of skill didn't change when i initially changed it because back then i was a pretty bad player maybe like a 1kd player uh, but I'd say in the long run it has helped me out you know long range engagements are a lot harder to like handle when you don't have aim assist but it makes it a lot better for close range engagements and if you do try it out maybe try it out with a lower sensitivity it isn't really that hard to get used to some gunfights you know you'll have the upper hand without aim assist some gunfights you'll have you know a disadvantage with aim assist but uh, once you use it for a while and get used to it it will be uh, perfectly fine and dandy people are sometimes people are a bit scared to take it off but you know as you saw from Rich's video yesterday you know you can get used to it relatively easy so that's the story behind aim assist um and this is where i actually fail my streak I'm, i do apologize there was no game audio on this little gameplay um i'm not sure why i think i think the other day when i was using my Elgato, my audio cable wasn't plugged in but you saw there i died on a 24 uh, right at the end got jump shot by that guy's scuff control i probably should have waited around the corner but anyways hopefully you guys did enjoy this video again make sure you do leave me suggestions down below on what i should commentate over leave me a like if you guys did enjoy and i shall see you guys in the next video bye